Hi guys, uh, so today I am here to show you uh, another review for a or on a Louis Vuitton item and it's the Speedy 35 in the monogram print. There you go. Got creases there in it because of the way it's stored. That's not a problem, it comes out. If you don't store it away like I do, like flat packed, it comes out really quickly. Um, so you may be able to see there from the from the leather colors like pretty much brand new I must have used this bag about twice since I bought it uh, March 2015 purely because <laughs> I'm at work most of the time uh, and I don't want to spend you know the money that I did on this bag um, to carry it to work and, and dirty up the handles you know commuting here and everywhere in London tubes and buses and, and whatnot it's, it's um it's be a waste for me so I do tend to, or the, the few times I have worn it, it has been for, just for me, you know, um, shopping or um, meeting friends. There you go. Quite a sizable bag there, good size. You'll notice here as well, I have the luggage tag. That's from Louis Vuitton Paris there. It doesn't actually come with the bag. It was a, um, it was purchased separately. Um, from Louis Vuitton in Oxford Street, Oxford Street, London, sorry. <laughs> um, and I literally just went in and said um, I wanted to purchase the luggage tag and obviously done my research online to know the size of the luggage tag that I wanted. They do ask if you are buying it to, um, to replace a luggage tag that you might have had on your, your key pole. So you know the, the, the very large um, uh, travel bag, travel bag from, from Louis Vuitton, um, and I, I did say no. I'm, I'm just purchasing it for, for um, just to add to my collection, to add on onto this bag. Was a little reluctant to sell it to me for that reason, but you know, I, I said, it, you know, I'm, I'm paying the money, so so why not? Um, and it's it's for one of your items, so, and I had it with me actually at the time, and she. Um, got approval for it and, and sold it to me. I think that was about £45 and that was only purchased this year and obviously you, because it hasn't been, the bag hasn't been used very often, the colour of the, of the leather there is exactly the same, which is what I wanted as well. Okay, so again, being Louis Vuitton, show you the bag there, it is one continuous piece of canvas. So as I turn the bag upside down, the base there, you'll see the LV um, will now be upside down once I turn it on that side. That's the back of the bag for me. The side of the bag is upright. The front LV is pointing upwards and the other side is upwards as well. Okay, so the bag itself um, was made in Paris there, Louis Vuitton, sorry France, <laughs> Louis Vuitton France. I noticed actually I did say Paris in my previous video for the um, toiletry pouch and I meant to say France um, so what can it hold yeah, it can hold a lot it, it's a it's a really big bag um, huge big hole there there's the base it comes with one internal pocket which can be a little bit annoying um, if you like to have your that's not, not very deep if you like to have your um, items in your bag in some kind of order it can be a bit annoying that there's no internal pockets inside but that can be you know that can be fixed if you purchase a um, uh, a bag tidy little insert <laughs> also I had another really good question from a subscriber who wanted to know if the um, speedy 35 could hold the toiletry 26 that I featured in my last video and the answer is yes it can so if I go out of shot for a second I'm slightly out of shot so there's the bag and obviously you don't want to put it in like that because you're going to scratch up the toiletry bag on the zip but it, it goes in so easily if you put it in sideways and there is ample space in the bag there you go to fit <laughs> your whole life it's, it's huge um so the answer is yes it can fit quite
quite happily. Um, zip on the top there. I mean, you'd have seen these bags a hundred times on on um, on YouTube. But, uh, there's no harm in showing again. So the zip is like that. You'll notice a little hole there as well. And the hole, um, once the bag is is done up, you would use the padlock to put in here, and um, to keep the bag even more secure. Now. As far as the bag's concerned, the bag is a beauty, quality you'd expect from Louis Vuitton. It has held up really well, although I haven't used it very often. Beautiful bag. Um, stitching is in as, you know, brand new condition. Perfect. But I've noticed that by leaving the bag away, um, like stored away, the padlock and key have become extremely tarnished. You can see that there. They are a really awful dark gold slash orangey colour. And if you can see that there, it's got like loads of um like darker marks on it. See that? Almost copper in colour. Now, what I will do, but because it's pointless doing it now, I don't plan to wear the bag any time in the next week. Um, what I will do nearer the time. Is I watched a really really good or a really you know a few really good YouTube videos um, of how to get rid of the tarnishing now it's a little bit messy you have to you know be patient with this one but it works so if you um, place your tarnished gold padlock um, and I'm only I've, I've tried this and I know it works so trust me it really would really really works um, but like I said it is messy if you put your padlock and your keys on a bit of cloth or a bit of tissue paper, cover them in white toothpaste, not any fancy toothpaste, just normal white fluoride toothpaste. Um, cover it, both sides, top, bottom, um, the locked. The keys again as well. I mean, if you're worried about the keys, if you're not, definitely a padlock. Leave it to sit for five minutes I didn't leave it any longer because I was a bit scared five minutes use another bit of tissue paper some dry tissue paper and just rub it off once you've done that there'll be a few bits of you know um, toothpaste left over on the padlock maybe in the holes oh, that you can't get off or get out no problem run it under the water um, dry it off just leave it to sit down somewhere so that if there are any, if there's any water, sorry, in the hole of the lock, it can drain out because obviously you don't want it to go rusty. It comes out spotlessly clean, just like brand new. Um, now again, what you could do, because I don't wear it very often, like I said, what you could do is every now and again, check on your padlock if you're not wearing it very often and you're rotating your bags. Um, check on the padlock so that it doesn't get too tarnished do the toothpaste uh, rinse every now and again so that you know when it does come time to for you to wear the bag and the padlock you haven't got to you know redo the cleaning because if you do try to clean it once with the five minutes you know um resting time with the toothpaste and it doesn't come out you repeat that step again and again and again until it does so promise you it works really really good um tip there I think for tarnished gold but um like I said as far as the bag is concerned beautiful bag holds loads and loads of items including the toiletry pouch which you would turn sideways and then pull out that way without any issues at all great bag for work if you don't mind the handles tarnishing or um aging I should say beautiful with or without the added accessories i'm not keen on the um the gold accessories again like the bag charms purely because the issue with the padlock in its little bag there it's usually where it's stored so yeah um i think this bag i purchased like i said last march <coughs> sorry um for five six five um unfortunately if you haven't got this bag in your collection now it has gone up in price I believe it's about six something now 620 or so Louis Vuitton and, and their price increases it can't be helped 
Um, so again, uh, if you have any questions, um, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Comment as much as you like, um, you know, it's perfectly fine. Um, like and you know, subscribe and if there's any um, suggestions you have for me um, with regards to um, other content or videos or other bags that I might have um, and you want to see them, let me know. If not, I'll see you again soon guys. Okay, bye.